What's going on folks? It's K Spade the Prospect. I'm back tonight with part three of my report card video for Parks Mode in NBA 2K14 for the Xbox One as well as the PlayStation 4. This is the one and probably only report card video that you'll see be breaking down into three parts. Part one was an early assessment. It was some patches on the way. I didn't really want to give it a grade. Part two, I finished that assessment and I gave it a grade. And part three, which is what you're watching and or listening to right now, is me just saying some wish list ideas, a fix list, whatever you want to call them. Things that I believe would make this mode better. This is really not typical of how I do it, but who knows? If it works, maybe this is the way of the future, all right? Now folks, before I get into this, it's obvious for me to state that I am a crew fanatic. The guys that know me, you guys know, you know, I am a crew fanatic. I'm the crew ambassador. So somebody's gonna ask me, why don't, you know, why don't you just say you wish it was crew? I do wish it was crew, you guys know that. But we don't, at this point, we don't even know if crew is coming back. Nobody knows whether or not 2K has plans of, bring, of bringing crew back. So I'm speaking as though Parks is the way moving forward because I don't know what's in plans. I only know what I can see. And right now Parks is that mode that allows you to compete with your my player. So that's what we're gonna do, folks. We're gonna start right there. Before I start wishing and throwing ideas out, I want you to know that everything that I'm saying here forward is firmly dependent on a strong, consistent network of servers. Because regardless of how fun the mode is, regardless of what features they add, if the network is not strong and consistent, the, the, the mode will forever be a failure in my eyes. So I wanna give you guys an analogy. I do that maybe too much, but I'm good at it, so I keep doing it. If you took your money, your hard-earned money, you went and bought yourself a vehicle. It's seven days in a week. Let's say four days of the week, that car fires up fine. Three days of the week, that car won't start. You don't know when those three days will be. It could be three days back to back. It might be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You have no idea. But here's what's even worse. On the four days that the car does start, it'll get you to your destination. And on two of those days, it might not start to get you back home from your destination. Would that be okay with either one of you? Absolutely not. So I don't understand why with some things, we are so lenient for things that don't do what they're supposed to do. You know, I, me personally, I couldn't turn the shoulder to the fact that the network issues are so, I mean, they happen so often. It's not once in a blue moon. It's literally every time I play. I either have issues right out the gate, or I have them after, you know, a while of playing. That was my reasoning for the grade. With, without the network issues, I could have easily given this mode a complete letter grade bump. But enough of that, Let, let's move forward. 2K kinda has a reputation of, of not finishing things. Now, I don't know if it's a situation where the community kinda backlashes about things they don't like about it, and, and maybe 2K says, you know, we should just start something new. I don't, I don't know if that's the case. Nobody knows but those guys. But we had crew, uh, you know, my crew, it, everybody loved it. Everybody kind of had their quirks about it, but everybody loved it. And it kind of got ripped out of our grasp. We got crews. A lot of the crew fans was livid with me because I had a Cheshire Cat grin on my face and I said the words, crew is back. People were so angry, but I've had some of those same people to hit me up and say, you know, after playing Parks, I really miss Cruz. Because even though Cruz wasn't crew, it was at least along the same lines, where Parks is kind of in a different direction. So this is assuming that 2K stays with Parks and they build on Parks moving forward. All right, that's a long setup. Let's get into it, folks. The key to success in this mode, in my opinion, is options. Nobody's ever complained about options. When you go to lunch, if you got more choices, you're usually gonna find something you enjoy better. Options is a good thing, unless you're married. Don't do nothing stupid, all right? So for starters, how about some search options? A party system. And we don't have to get too complicated. Let's break it down like this. Let's say it's just you and one of your friends. There's two of you. You party up, you search. Right before you search for a part game, how about it gives you an option? Do you guys wanna search for a 2v2, 3v3, 5v5? Maybe it's just because it's you and your friend don't mean you only want to play two on two. You might want to play a 3v3. You might be okay with a random teammate. 
but you should have the option of being able to search for a 3v3 with your party member and, and take your you know take your random person why not because the fight for the got next bubble is another thing that i feel like kill this mode if it's me and three of my friends the four of us want to play the five we pretty much know we want to play the five let us search for a five we'll take that random guy if need be search options is going to be great another thing when it comes to options is the courts i know it's not a big deal folks the court doesn't matter too much but how about some different logos some different areas some different designs eye candy i know it's not that big in the grand scheme of things but if you wore the same outfit every day your friends would soon get tired of looking at you switch it up if you're wearing that same shirt every friday that your mom got you you like that shirt switch it up wear it on thursday sometime don't wear it every friday options and lastly folks since we're talking about the shirt let me jump on wardrobes and I know, wait a minute, somebody's gonna say, Spade, you can go to the Foot Locker store. There's tons of options in there, and you're right. But this is what I'm thinking. Once again, I'm a crew guy. So for me and my crew, the Made Men, we pretty much got a standard TMM Made Men jersey. Wouldn't it be dope if we had the option when we went to play a game to either wear our crew jerseys or the random street ball attire? We might wanna go incognito and you can rock the you know, the t-shirt the and the shorts, what, whatever you got out the Foot Locker store. But it would be dope if we're playing as a team that we could suit up like a team. Even if I'm out there solo. I might want to rep TMM. That's my crew. I love those guys. I could come out in my TMM jersey. Somebody might see me and say, oh, snap. I remember them from the crew days. I played them. That's, that's one of the guys from the Made Men. I just think that would be dope. Okay, so let's move forward. Court size has to be addressed. Only on the 5v5. The 2v2 is fine. The 3v3 is fine in my opinion. In options, I think it would be dope to have a 3v3 half court as well as a 3v3 full court. And that would be something that you, you could select upon searching. If you wanted to search for a 3v3, would you like a 3v3 half court or a 3v3 full? And like I said in part two, even though one of the, the, the 3v3 is a full court, but it's not a regulation size full court. Uh, you know what I mean. The 5v5 is not regulation if you ask me. But the 3v3 is smaller than the 5v5. That option would be dope as well. And lastly, let's talk about violations. Now, it was one guy in the comment section that was pretty upset that I wanted violations because when him and his friends go to the park and play, there's no rules, there's no violations. And he's right, I get that. But I don't really think him and his friend, if you rated their skills, they wouldn't be 99s. We talking about how my players are the caliber of top tier NBA players. These guys are gonna need some rules and violations. If you decide you don't want three seconds, after more thought, I'm cool with three seconds not being in there. Three seconds, we don't need that. That's just gonna slow the game down. I don't have a problem with that. Keep it out. Reaching files need to continue to be there. Shooting files need to be there. And several people co corrected me on that. There are shooting files. You guys are right, but what I meant was with shots. A shooting file gets you foul shots you know it's got to be a punishment maybe foul shots isn't the answer maybe kicking the player is the answer maybe that's not the answer i'm really not sure what the answer is but it has to be a penalty for just reaching and fouling the entire game you cannot let a foul be a defensive strategy you don't want to got to stop a fast break with a foul and the only thing you get a chance to do is take it out that sucks for the offense on the, along the same lines of options Matchup options would be dope. Right before the game starts, just a little quick thing where you could go and kind of move your player and match up. Kind of like you did in Cruise right before the game started. Somebody's gonna say that it doesn't matter. In street ball, yeah, positions don't matter. Somebody's gonna say that. But no way you and your friends go to the park and your 5'3 buddy guards the 6'10 guy at the park. You wouldn't do that. You're gonna kind of match up height wise or, or skill wise. And I think the matchup option would also make this mode better. The scoreboard, folks. Again, I want to speak on this. Let's move the scoreboard 2K. I don't know who I did was. I don't like it. Most people don't like it. Let's move the scoreboard. We're almost to the end, folks. Hang in there. Bear with me. A bump in difficulty. Now, in Cruise, I, I had a problem with how inconsistent the jumpers were. There were times when I could take a shot with a hand directly in my face. <laughs> directly in my face fading away and I would 
make it rain. I mean, water would fall from the nets. There was other times when I could be completely wide open, in my range, perfect release, good shot quality, and miss it. And my problem with that was I felt like they made it too random. It was like pulling the lever on a slot machine, whether or not you would make it or, or not make it. And the problem with that is it doesn't reward good defense. Defense is a big part of basketball, and you have to reward those that play good defense. So moving forward, right now, I'm seeing a lot of contested shots go in. People are making about 90% of the mid-range shots. Let's just give it a bump. Let's make contested shots fall a little bit less at a time. And let's probably turn down, you know, the success on people just pulling shots. And, and it's really mid-range. The threes, I feel like, is pretty fair. Uh, you know you know how I feel about the dunks or whatnot. But the mid-rangers, they are falling in an extremely high clip. And, you know, like I said, rewarding defense is definitely something that will make this mold better. And, folks, I'm not going to draw this video out any longer. These are my ideas that I believe will make this mold, I mean, great. These, these changes right here, your boy would be on parks every single day. So again, folks, I'll be checking the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this. And uh, hopefully, you know, 2K will be watching. Maybe some of these ideas can be implemented. And if so, I'll see you guys at the parks. I'm out till next time, folks. Peace.